Hi guys, welcome to my channel and if you are new here, my name is Jenna and today, as you can tell by the title, I am doing how I edit my Instagram photos. So what I'm going to be sharing with you today is basically how I edit every single photo. So I'm really excited because this is such a highly requested video just on my Instagram in general. So I'm excited to be sharing my tips and tricks with you guys and I'm also going to be introducing my Lightroom mobile presets. So if you are interested in how I edit my Instagram photos, just keep watching. Okay, so to begin, before I actually get into editing my Instagram photos, I wanted to share with you guys how I take my Instagram photos. So my first step is finding someone to take these Instagram photos of me. So I'm usually using my sister or my boyfriend. And the tip with them is just having patience. So find someone that will be patient enough with you. And if you have a vision for a photo that you want to take, make sure that you tell who's ever taking it as much as you can just because they can't read your mind and I find it super helpful if I am taking the photo maybe with one of them in my spot giving them just an idea of like what I'm looking for so next I want to talk about what I'm wearing and where I'm taking my Instagram photos I do take this into consideration when I am planning out where I want to take my photos so I will go for neutral backgrounds or something that I want to go on my feed and I'm going to talk about the look and aesthetic of my feed a little bit later and I'm going to be talking about my presets a little bit later too so I'll wait to get into that but basically my presets work really well with naturally lit photos so I'm doing photos during the day with a lot of like whites neutrals along with my clothing either being like a neutral or a bright color that's something that I like to incorporate into my feed as you guys can see here that's just something to take into consideration when you are planning it helps you and your photographer really get a feel for what you're looking for in your end result and another tip for your feed itself I like to take photos that aren't all the same so maybe some close-up maybe some full body I even like throwing fillers in there just to make it an overall nice appearance Next, I just wanted to briefly touch on what I'm using to take these pictures. So I personally like a DSLR camera, but everything works with an iPhone as well. I have an iPhone 8 that I'm taking pictures with using my preset on and it works just fine. But personally, I just like my camera and I wanted to share with you guys what camera I use just in case you were curious. So I have the Nikon D3500 camera and it came with the lens. I wrote it down just so I got it all right. It's the Nikkor uh, 18 to 55 millimeter 3.5 and then we actually just got this lens that we're filming on right now and that is a Nikkor 35 millimeter 1.8. So that is what I'm using to take my photos. But like I said, anyone can do this on their iPhone. It really works for both. I'm just going to talk about my Lightroom mobile presets real quick. If you go onto my website, it's just jennajoneslifestyle.com. That's where I'm selling them. And if you go under the preset tab, it'll take you to Etsy and you'll find my preset pack. So I created this pack with two presets that I use on my feed that you guys will see right here. And I just really like the overall look and this is where you can really hone in on that aesthetic vibe that people are always looking for. And I think this looks great if you are doing like wedding photos, graduation photos, just something that you are doing, even travel photos. I think they look really good together. So if you guys are interested in these presets, I highly recommend you are going to get two great quality and you guys literally can use these for the rest of your life and it's literally the cost of a lunch date. So if you guys are interested, head to my website. I will leave it linked down below, but let's get into editing. So I'm going to start a screen recording right now and showing you guys into my Lightroom. And if you guys do download my presets, I go in more depth of how to actually like import these and everything. So I'm just going to jump right into where I would be if you already have them in your Lightroom. Well, the first picture that you're going to receive if you download the preset pack is this one of me. This is your Cream City one. You can tell that the colors are very warm. And then I'm going to go and show you guys my other one. And this is the second one, very blue, and, and I'll show you a little bit of how I change the colors on these because with my preset, like I said before, they work really well in the natural light, but you can play around with like the colors, the exposure, everything like that. So I'm going to go a little in depth in that as well because not every single picture that I put in the Lightroom and copy my preset on there is perfect right away. I have to play around with it a little bit, which is my favorite part. So if you go in, we'll start with this photo and I actually have a photo next to it as you guys can see that is the similar it was taken the same day but it just doesn't have the preset on it so I'm gonna go up to these three little dots and I'm gonna hit copy settings and you can see that all the settings are copied and then I'm just gonna scroll over to this one and paste that on so this one is pretty easy to 
just leave how it is right now just because it's the same place but let me show you on a different picture how I can change the lighting. So as you see this picture of Brandon and I has a lot of color in it which I love and this is a great way to play around with some color so I'm gonna hit paste and you can see the color is a little bit funky in the flowers so if I go into this color setting over here I'm gonna go to mix and I can play around with the oranges bringing those colors up and I'll play around a lot with the saturation and luminance. Those are my two favorite ones to play around with. I like doing this when people have like different skin tones or the lights hitting your skin because it's not always perfect. And then I might go into the yellow, play around with that a little bit. You can see the background changing. So this is a great way to just kind of play around with that. And I like how that looks so then I would be done with that one. Let's find another one. So this one is edited actually with that second preset that I showed you before. So if we go to that photo, and we're going to do the same thing. Since this is my second preset, I'm going to copy this one again just because it's a different one. But I'm going to copy the settings, and I'm going to go over. You see that this is a similar photo, and just hit paste. So this one you can really see all those blues in it, which I really like. And this one I can show you a little bit of like how the lighting would change highlights and if you zoom in what I was talking about before is playing around with that skin tone so I'll just play around and see like okay maybe it's like too pale too dark just seeing like what really works what looks natural I want all my photos to look very natural with a little added effect on there I'm still a little orange let's fix that up a little bit there we go more natural all right and then we can go into a photo like this and this is also really fun too if you have on your feed different colors that you want to kind of bring together and have an overall color scheme. So let's say you have some darker pinks, you want to go in to that and you can play around with like the actual color just like that. So I think this is super fun. You can see that I'm bringing up the saturation of that. Whatever you guys want to do, I like just having the base of my preset on every photo and then just playing around with them. So once you're done with the photos, you are going to take them and you can just export them. So let's pick a photo to export here. Let's just do this one for fun. You can just export it to your camera roll and I'm going to show you guys what I do next. Alright, so after I exported that photo to my camera roll, I'm going to take it into this other app that I use. It's the Plan app and this is a great app to use if you are working in social media or if you just want to plan out how your feed looks. This is something I do if I maybe take a photo, but I don't really like how it looks on my feed. I'll just save those photos, or I can save it in this app to like kind of move around. So let me show you this right now. So this is my plan app. You can see that my feed is up there right now, and I can click on this little plus sign, and I'm going to add the photo that I just downloaded from Lightroom. And you can see I like how that looks in there, so I'm going to keep that. You can also insert more photos. Let's see if I have another one in here really quick. Here we go. And you can move around the photos that you like haven't posted yet, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to get rid of this one just because we're not using that anymore. And I'm going to look at this photo now and I'm going to say, okay, I'm ready to post. And then my last step, which I put on all my photos is some stars. So I just kind of eyeball to see where the stars are. So you can see on my most recent photo that I posted on Instagram, the stars are above my head. So I might bring that into my next photo a little bit. This is a great way to just like fill some space, really show my personality on my Instagram. So I'm going to go into the app Rookie Cam. You're gonna see my head. <laughs> I don't want it to show. <laughs> and I'm just gonna insert my photo. And I do stars just because that's what I like, but there's a lot of different things that you can do on here with all the stickers as you can see. So I'm just gonna add some stars in here at the top. I do this on most of my photos, but it really depends on like what kind of like background I have on here to do it with. I might not use as many, or I might use more than usual, so then I will just export that. It's saved to my uh, camera roll, and then I'm going to go back into the plan app if I want to, and see if those stars look okay. I'm not too hard on myself if they don't align perfectly, but I just like them too. So without the little gray triangle in the corner they look pretty good so then my final step is just adding the caption so if I want to add some hashtags to this photo if I'm working with maybe a brand or I just want to promote my Instagram photo a little bit more on the explore page I will add some hashtags so I'm actually going to go into my notes I have this saved just because I do this pretty often on some of my photos 
and I will just type the caption that I want to use from Instagram and then I'm going to add in some hashtags so I'll get rid of this and you can see that I just have a couple different hashtags and I actually use this website called hashtag generator if you guys are interested in getting the most popular hashtags you can just type in something about the photo into that generator and click on top and then you will get the top search hashtags so this helps getting known on the explore page like I said I do this every so often but if you wanted to you could just copy this from your notes select it all copy and paste that in there so then when you post it it's not going to bombard your followers with all those hashtags right away it's going to do the little like see more or see below and that is basically it so that is what i do for my captions how i edit and like i said if you guys are interested in my presets or just more videos like this make sure you guys let me know but this is the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye